I thought I was actually going to be taking this out. This is the uh, DBXLE 2.0. I charged up my batteries, which do not charge a level batteries in house. It's not a good idea. Uh, right now, I'm topping off the battery packs, but I had turned it on and I kind of didn't hear something. I wasn't hearing the fan going off. So I ended up taking it apart. It takes um, four screws to go ahead and kind of get at the outer shroud, but then you also have to take off the four longer screws that actually go through the fan itself. So you've got those screws right there. So you got one, that's obviously four, where the switch goes. Then you got two, three, four, and then your four screws that actually go into the heat sink. I had taken the fan out which this is the um, this is the back side where the sticker goes and that's how you can access either the o-ring or in this particular case that little piece right there which is a tiny little piece of some kind of plastic right there which seems to keep the fan in a lot better and what you can see is I ended up breaking a blade off at some point well what had happened is when I when I turned that thing on the fan wasn't moving so Obviously, I had to investigate because I know it's like that uh, check sequence where you press the power button, the fan should turn on. Uh, yeah, it didn't turn on. The reason why was because a piece of the fan blade had broken off and it was actually wedged underneath the actual blade itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my super glue, probably not that one right there, wherever my other glue is. I have no idea right now. But I'm going to take my super glue and I'm going to glue... The blade back in place because as it is right now there's too much of a vibration to where the fan is not functioning at its full capacity so if I take that right there super glue it on hopefully it'll be all set and then maybe I can take it out for a rip this is totally like blowing the day man this is the stuff that just drives you nuts you know you put your car away you think everything's all set you go to take it out for the next run and uh, yeah you find a broken fan blade that's ruining your day so, anyways, yeah, so let's just super glue that. Well, I did end up using my uh, super glue gel there because my other stuff has a brush on it. This stuff actually seemed to work out pretty good. Focus. Uh, you can kind of see. Focus. Come on. What's up with the focus here? Focus. Well, oh, whatever. You can see the, uh, the shininess on there. Fan blade is glued in place. I have no idea what it's going to do, but um, I do like the design of this particular uh, fan. Because that thing right there, that little O-ring, which is plastic, that thing was locked on. So I know that fan ain't coming apart. It's just sad that the blade ripped off. Obviously, it, it, it must have struck inside on one of the fins um, right there. And, and there's actually a bunch of black sludge in there. I almost thought the ESC burned up and wiped out the fan blade. I literally, I didn't see the fan blade right away. So I thought like somehow the fan blade just literally got melted. So I'm going to scrape that stuff off because uh, how can your fan cool if it's got black like insulated uh, goop from the uh, capacitors being thrown in there on there. So we'll throw this thing back together and today is pretty much blown. Uh, but I got a good idea, and hopefully you'll enjoy watching this uh, episode that's coming tomorrow from RC Guy Garage. I'm out. So obviously we're back after our uh, road ripping excursion, I guess you want to call it, you know, the scenic route. And we did, uh, we did obviously slip a pinion, which is fine. I'm actually glad that it actually slipped this way. The cover probably would have prevented it from going further that way. Uh, didn't lose the set screw. It just backed off. Maybe that's the way it's designed. It's got to be something in here that's pitched a certain way, I'm assuming, to make the pinion actually want to slip this way instead of flipping that way. So it's got to be some kind of like uh, alignment thing. 
So we took the uh, set screw out, grub screw, whatever people want to call it. I call it a set screw. Took that out, slipped the pinion off, cleaned up the shaft, made sure everything was all set as far as the gears. Took my Loctite, threw Loctite actually inside the open hole because we took the set screw completely out. And then took my three millimeter, three millimeter socket on my quarter inch wrench and reinstalled the set screw slash grub screw, whatever you want to call it, inside the hole. And now we're just letting it set up. And uh, as far as the fan goes, the fan is actually operating absolutely mint. Granted, it's not like we did any, like, you know, crazy jumps or anything like that that had any major impacts, but it was running for, like, 40 minutes, I think it was, like, in total, as far as uh, fan runtime. That's just the uh, little fan update from RC Guy Garage. If you like the content that you're seeing, you already know what to do. So, um, yeah. So just, just get out there and, and enjoy the hobby and throw a smile on your face and share it with other people. Um, get other people, you know, excited, hopped up, pumped to get into this hobby because it's something that actually can be fun. So thanks for watching this episode from Mousy Guy Garage. I'm out. Champion.